The St. Pierre Foundation is the only U.S. not-for-profit charity organization dedicated to the promotion of the spiritual charism of St. Pio Pietrocina, universally acclaimed as one of the most venerated contemporary saints of the Catholic Holy Church. We create the St. Pio Foundation with one goal only, to raise funds to establish clinics, Catholic medical facilities and medical schools in the United States of America in the charism of St. Pio Pietrocina. An important goal of the St. Pio Foundation is also to commit a percentage of the funds it raises as a donation to support the hospital Home for the Relief of Suffering in San Giovanni Rotondo, Italy, that was funded by Padre Pio in 1956 and currently is owned by the Holy See. Thank you all for coming uh, this evening. Certainly, um, the work of Padre Pio, in, which has been carried, which is continued by the, uh, the hospital in San Giovanni Rotondo, is something worthy of uh, our support. Uh, the Maestro pointed out that it's, uh, it's one of two hospitals owned and operated by the Holy See. So I certainly wish all of you uh, both a pleasant evening and a great success. Thank you. Um, he, is, he is not only a great actor and a dear friend, but he also, for the past 13 years, has been the master of ceremony for the Sons of Italy. And God bless you. Joe Montaigne, our friend. One thing I, I think I, I have tried to be is, is spiritual in the sense that I, I believed. I believe. And you find yourself believing, especially in times of great peril and great trial, because all of a sudden, at least I did, I found myself praying. And then I realized, well, if I'm not a true believer, who the hell am I praying to? And who I was praying to was that same thing that had been indoctrinated for me as a child and through those years in Catholic school and then beyond. And there was, even though when I thought to myself I was doubting this aspect of my life, it obviously had rooted itself somewhere inside of me. The image I took away from that cemetery was these hundreds and hundreds of crosses, these white crosses. And I thought to myself, these men died. These men died <laughs> so I can live in this country that I somewhat take for granted, that I somewhat feel grateful for, but not so much that I had given anything close to my life for it, where they had. And the one remembrance that they have for them in this foreign country, thousands of miles away from their home, are these white crosses. When I got back to Paris that night after doing my wonderful job of acting in a movie, I stopped in a store and I bought this cross. And I bought this cross because of them. Because of the countless others and the countless other crosses that I saw years later at Arlington and military cemeteries around the United States. And for that, I support any organization, any group of people that tries to do positive things to help their fellow man, as Padre Pio has done, as, as others have done who live that kind of life, who care about others. I thank you for being here. You obviously are people of a similar mindset and a similar heart, or you wouldn't be here tonight. It's been a privilege to be here. Thank you very much. Franco truly embodies the best of America and Italy in terms of his love of life, his love of family, his commitment to the Catholic Church, his faith, 
and his generosity to those in need in so many ways. We all know Franco as a devoted and proud father, as well as a loyal friend to so many. And in these and other ways, he really demonstrates in life what Padre Pio advised all of us to do, pray, hope, and don't worry. I'm extremely touched and grateful to accept this special award. Receiving an, an, an acknowledgement dedicated to such an extraordinary figure of the church, like uh, San Pio, he fills me with humility and makes me feel very, very deep and unworthy. Today, the teaching of faith, hope, and sacrifice that San Pio Exemplifies continue to be the path to follow for all of us. San Pio used to say, and I quote, you just said it before, pray, hope, and don't worry. Worry is useless. God is merciful and will hear our prayer. This is the best way to find peace in our journey. Facing the storm of life, with the power of faith. And I want to conclude with this prayer from San Pio, simply yet so intense and powerful. My past, O oh Lord, to your mercy. My present, to your love. My future, to your providence. Thank you, everyone.